Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another War of the Visions video, and today I'm going to address the Titus and Leviathan situation because I've heard a lot of chatter kind of tying these two things together. Then I went and kind of looked at Leviathan, kind of saw what we're getting, and I actually have some thoughts on uh, is this card good for Titus? Who is this card good for now? And I think this might have been a secret buff to a unit a lot of us are building at the moment that uh, is meant to tide us over until Titus. Oh, big brain jokes there. Okay, anyway, we'll stop with the dad jokes and move on to what I'm talking about. So I'm going to throw an image on the screen here. And this is kind of what I mean. I think that right now, Leviathan, if you get it, if you mask, if you max it, is is the thing Thancred might be needing to slide into the meta. Maybe it's also good for somebody like Cecil as well as a off tank bruiser support kind of character to complement um, like a tank bruiser DPS kind of group. And then later down the line, I do think it's a really good card on Titus. Um, I know there's been back and forth on that, but I, I look at this card, I look at Titus's kit, and I really see like if you're running a mono element team, I think it would be really good for him. So I'm going to throw some more things on the screen here, kind of show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's start in the right now, because this is what we know, this is what we can do with it right away, right? So on the left, you see what this card says it's going to give. It's going to give pierce resistance to the group, and it's going to give 20% pierce resistance to the group. That's great. This is this is the best pierce resist card uh, we have, or we're going to have access to. So I want it just for that, right? Like, I want to be able to find pierce teams and beat them down. Now, the interesting thing here is those limited bestowed effects that it's giving. So, sword equipable main jobs. Yeah, everybody's like, oh, this is Titus's card. Yeah, that's Titus. And, and okay, it kind of is Titus. But also, who can equip a sword? Well, Thancred can. Thancred can equip a sword. And it gives you this ability, Crash Edge. Okay, Crash Edge, Crash Edge does large damage, and it does more damage depending on how much HP the unit's lost. We'll look over on the right there. Uh, look at that move, Superbol Superbolide. Man, am I saying that right? I have no idea. Superbolide. Consumes own HP 15% then reduces his own damage taken by 50% for three turns. Ooh, so by giving himself a buff that reduces damage taken, it increases the damage that Crash Edge is going to do. Nice. I kind of like that. There's some good synergy there. Let's look at the rest of this. Oh, oh, it also gives attack up. So let's remember that too, attack up. All right, the other limited bestowed effect, water or light L units with sword equipable main jobs. Titus again, okay, and Thancred again, and Cecil again, and like most of your light element tanks, like throw rams on this list if you really want to. But what's that giving? Max HP up and slash attack up. Two things Thancred is really, really going to like. Um, I saw this yesterday and I was kind of watching some videos about it and I was like, you know, I really feel like this is a, this is a nod towards our guy Thancred. He kind of needed something in a lot of people's opinion. Now, I'm not sure yet. I haven't run all my tests with the guy yet. But you better believe I'm going to throw this card on him because I think it might be one of his best cards. Uh, let's look at let's look at actually what he'd look like with this card, though. Um, I did some of my own kind of calculations here since, since like, the War of the Visions calc hasn't um, updated with our card yet. I was just sitting at work today, you know, maybe... Uh, messing with these numbers a little bit and here's what i came up with right okay so i took thancred i put golem on him because golem's going to give him more hp it's going to give him pierce resist it's going to give him defense and then i was like okay let's throw what we know about leviathan onto a thancred wearing golem all right we know that Leviathan, just the stats on Leviathan, give 306 HP, 164 attack, and 4 defense. Cool. Then, we're going to get another attack plus 10%, and we're going to get pierce resistance up 20. And actually, we're going to get more HP than just what I'm figuring on here. 
The, my numbers are actually going to be a little bit short of what a max level Thancred's potential is, but this is just me kind of like spitballing this. Um, anyway, look. So, HP, you're going to have a 6,000 plus HP Thancred with 900 and some attack. It's pretty dang good. Right? Then he's also getting access to Crash Edge, the new move. He's going to have 42 defense and 65 pierce resistance. I envision taking a tank... Maybe like an Engelbert, maybe like a Warrior of Light, a true tank, maybe Mont. I don't know if you got Mont. Maybe you're like newer and this is kind of your for just now getting into building stuff up, whatever. You take them, you pair them with Thancred. You have Thancred. Uh, let's bring Thancred's moves back onto the screen here. Okay. You pair them with Thancred. You have Thancred giving them Heart of Stone, buffing their defense. Maybe you have that tank running... Um, Demon Wall, something like that, some kind of elemental resist. Get that anti cane dark resist going. Uh, then you have Thancred kind of right there with them. And these two are attacking the enemy, charging ahead, being very resistant to Pierce with lots of HP, and Thancred shielding them. Well, not shielding so much, but you know, giving them that defense buff. Then giving himself a uh, Superbolide, my favorite name to say now, and just rolling in there. Being real bruisery, not really risking getting one shot, maybe not even two shot by somebody like Kane, and then have like a true DPS character backing them up from a safe distance, maybe a ranged unit or a mage or something like that. Maybe another unit with some pierce resistance to take advantage of the pierce resist from Leviathan. And boom, there you go. That's kind of my right now vision for this card. Uh, it, it seems like a Thancred card to me. It seems like this buff to this card and Thancred coming out at kind of about the same time, a little too good to be true. Now, Cecil, same kind of place here. Cecil also has really good pierce resist, um, and he would benefit from this card. He loses a lot of HP passing out his shield, and so if he can get a crash edge off, it might hit really hard. Now, we don't really know yet, right? This is all speculation. I'm going to run the tests, right? Like, as soon as I have Thancred ready to go and have this card maxed, I'll run the tests. I'll put those out there. I just want you guys to know how I feel about it and kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, anyway, let's talk about the later. Let's talk about what's coming down the line and why Leviathan might be better for Titus than Titus' own vision card from the Final Fantasy X event. So, Leviathan gives the defense. Leviathan gives the attack up. But it doesn't give as much attack up as Titus's vision card does. Um, Titus's vision card gives much more attack, right? Now, they both are buffing your water units. And so, that's great. We want that water buff. But the buffs are different, so you can run them with each other. And in my opinion, I think you'd rather put Titus's card on someone who is going to maybe have potential of one-shotting somebody later. Maybe like a Glacella, maybe a Christmas Ramada. If you have Christmas Ramada, I think Titus's vision card is looking real fine on her. Um, or at least real fine for a group with her in it. Maybe you have all three of these units and you're just waiting for that mono water team. That's the boat I'm in. I'm envisioning my future mono element water team, and it's these three units. It's Titus, it's Glacella, it's Christmas Ramada. Titus is my tank. Um, Glacella and Ramada are just going to try and annihilate things. And what I'm planning on doing is running Leviathan on Titus, running um, Titus's vision card on one of the other two units, and then sprinkling in another card to supplement my group. Like, if the piercing meta has stuck around for that long okay cool i have that covered with leviathan if it's still this meta where it's like mixed damage with piercing and missile or piercing and slash i can mix in that type of resistance to my group and really turn titus into an awesome tank um at least i think right don't have my hands on him yet this is all theory crafting at this point it's not even really theory crafting it's more like wishful thinking about my future water team I'm excited for this water team. Um, Christmas Ramada was a really cool get for me. And ever since I got her, I was like, nope, I'm going to max her. I'm using her with Titus later. We're going to make this chick work. 
uh, and I've had a ton of fun with her already. So maybe you give her, um, maybe a future group, right? Is Titus with Leviathan, Glacella with Titus's card, and Christmas Ramada with the um, Slash Attack Penetration card to get that three hit attack. Ooh, that's looking nice. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know if I have too much more to say on this topic, right? Like, I think I, I just wanted to chip in a little bit on how I felt about Leviathan because I feel like um, there's some movement against this card. And I think this card is ushering in kind of a new... Maybe we're starting to see the beginning of mono element teams being a... Um, more widespread thing. Now, it's really interesting they'd start with water, because water's kind of getting hosed on good UR units. It's not like dark or light, but you can already kind of run mono dark if you really want to. You have Bahamut, um, etc. So, I'm excited for water, because it's not light or dark. It's something kind of cool and different, and if you know anything about my playstyle, I kind of like cool and different. You know, anybody can throw Dwayne and Kane out there with a healer and be like oh look at me win congrats anyway that's all i got for today um yeah i just wanted to get my like again this is just my two cents on this i haven't tested any of this yet because i don't have the card yet obviously but i will run the test i will post videos on the test um and there will be follow-ups to this so thank you guys for sticking through this if you did give me a like and subscribe if you want to see some of my other content and i will see y'all in the next video